and the city looks like shit, and all these cities work for me, get off your ass and do your job. Trash everywhere. I've never seen a, the shape of this shit all fucking scumbag. All the way to Beverly Hills. It looks, it's a sorry ass situation over here. You guys, this is a better, this is Hollywood was way better than this before. Well, because we'll because it. of the pandemic and, and people that are greedy that think because I'm gone doing a project to end homelessness of all these people sleeping in your neighbors and the crannies of their bushes, they'd be under your house and everywhere, all over. And they don't deserve to be living like animals. And all those buildings that they think they own, I'm putting them all in those buildings that I own. It's my property. And West Hollywood has been have no right to make those decisions of approving those buildings on my property with my money by those people. And if no code don't exist by a fucking bribed judge who gets to face 36 to life for his bullshit and his open office and fighting and open and all these city workers from Hollywood fighting in your open office. They're all fired and go to prison. And I'm suing you personally for every penny you have to try and kill me out and, and, and approving all these fucking shit. That's why I'm back. And don't think I'm stupid. And if you don't believe me, I'm taking it to the Supreme Court and you ask an attorney or any judge in law if I'm a liar or if I'm not talking the truth, okay? I'm not stupid. That's why he probably left me all the fucking responsibility to real When Carter Gugino told me that I inherited a multi-billionaire. Mark, you're not homeless. You're not a millionaire. You're not a multi-millionaire. Mark, you're not a billionaire. You're a multi-billionaire now. You're not homeless. I go, what? I go, pitch me if I'm dreaming. Like, dreaming, right? And, and I saw a bad review on the old hotel in San Quanga. I went down with change walls and I hide right there and I wanted to dream because I thought it pissed me if I'm not dreaming when she told me I'm on that corner block. When they shut it down and, and they, uh, they, they, they like, they rallied me to tell my grandma and she was waiting for me. I said, Mark, Mark, what happened to you? I remember everything, Carla, and you know the truth. Madonna, you know the truth. Clean Eastwood went and stepped up to play for me. Okay, and thank you, Mr. Clean Eastwood, for that. And I got all the PDF documentation sent to me and I'm reading the files now and I'm going to analyze it. After I audit too much shit, I've been traveling. I got a headache, I'm, I'm stressed out from all the shit that's going on with my shit. That this man gave me a responsibility to make a better Hollywood and community and to give people an opportunity to do something in life to make their dream come true, all right? He, this man is a great person that needs to be acknowledged and give it recognition to about what he did for a lot of you stars out here in Hollywood that know what I'm saying, okay? I love all of you, man, but I'm pissed off. And you guys need to go and shut that fucking block down. I want that building tore down. That I want that parking lot that I had up there before that, when I bought off that last corner there, back up again. You guys have the right to change. Hollywood officials change my, my parking lot into some building I didn't want. Come on, man. And then, and those, and those, that stupid ass fucking, uh, Arabat oil tycoon, multi-billionaire oil tycoon, that bribe and pay off to pay off to think he owns dream is that how because you don't, and Hillman, you're ass, you're an asshole. You're not my partnership in any of my property. You have no part of it. Everything that Carter G told me, he left everything to me, not you, asshole. And that's it. That's all I have to say. I'm pissed. How would you feel, dude, if you went to live in the street and get killed four or five times, shot up, hit with baseball bats in your sleep? I went to hell. And living homeless to, to experience people that are homeless that are suffering, needlessly murdered women and children, living in cardboard boxes and skittles, young girls being raped and murdered, and people killed and murdered and, and robbed and stole on the street. You know what it feels like to be on the street when I was 15, sleeping from across from Formosa Restaurant, on RTD bus stop, across from Formosa and Warner Bros. back then. Well, he saw me in the windows again. It broke my heart to see you that way, kid, Mark. But I promise you're never going to be poor again. But when Carter G. The Gino was waiting at the corner to tell me that I'm not a, a millionaire, a multi-millionaire, or a billionaire, but a multi-billionaire. I thought it pissed me if I'm not dreaming. Why well, do think it's just dream? They don't get my dream name by a hell man trying to get first hand pay off by those Arabs for his pocket. And he has no right to make decisions on my property or any of them. He manages, but doesn't make the decisions under my executive signature of what, what I own. 
He has no right to do that shit. And he knows it. And he'll make you fired. I don't want to bite you on my master face and you stupid ass beady ass motherfucker. You hear me? No, you, you guys gotta face the music. I'm gonna go, the DA, Catherine, thank you for sending me that PDF of, of the files of the case. The case that's going on with this shit. And that shoot, that shooting, I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna shut down that fucking, all that business, I'm shutting it down. I can end all your leases if I want to. But I'm not gonna do that to you, but I'm saying it out for renovation and security reasons of three people being shot and died in that building over a drug deal gone bad in my building. You stupid Arabs, you're probably the motherfucker that killed him. Those people in that shooting, they didn't get the killer. He's that fucking Arab probably killed him in that building. I wouldn't doubt it, you motherfucker. Don't be here and send money and pay them off to kill me. This shit, I'll, I'll take this shit. I'll, I'll, I, I've been, people trying to kill me all my life, dude. And the streets, when I went back home, look at, I got shot nine times in Anaheim because my mom had a stroke. I suffered a mess since I've been gone. I didn't, I didn't run to the money, like, give me money, I, I'm rich now. And the, and the bodyguard that wa walked me to Walgreens when Madonna was to get back in here, and he, and he walked with me to Walgreens that night when they told me I was rich and inherited all this shit. And Madonna got pictured, I didn't like the cook cost on you and she ripped it out. I remember everything that night. And I said, I said, no more order to that door, no more door there, and, and, and tear down the old, Hotel, bad review, Roach Motel, and they said I went between you all and a high rise there. Remember that? That and them, those people have known that word dream and her pinching me and twice up there on that day that shit happened to me. That's why it says dream. And not only that, the dream center in Echo Park and the condo building that I own over there too, it's next to dream center. Well, see, dream center is a Christian place. That gives people up to change their lives and, and work on making their dream come true, okay? And that's where he had the condo. And I wouldn't be surprised if he was involved with Dream Center as well, okay? But he did make, make people start in the dream too. I'm so tired, I can collapse right now. I came 700, almost 1,000 miles from Albuquerque, walking through the desert to get home to this situation when I found out about it, okay? I'm exhausted right now. I gotta eat, sleep and rest because I am, look how dirty I'm, fucking, I walk for a fucking Arab dude in the desert, I'm, I'm dying for, I'm dying of thirst, man, my mouth's all dry, it's a bitch, man, life's a bitch, my mom di died two weeks before, I look, I hit with baseball bats in Alhambra, I bled to death almost in the brain, I was in a coma for two months in an MRI machine, okay, and then I stayed in the house, I couldn't come from one to the ABC, I had to learn how to walk again. Look, when I came out of a coma two months in a coma, I didn't feel fear when they hit me with baseball bats in my sleep. But get, guess what? God's good. Look, I couldn't count from one to three ABC, what's the square box. It took me eight months together and learn to walk again. But let me tell you, I thank God, I thank God that for one thing, that the UCLA Medical Center had me in their hands and kept me alive, I was bleeding the brain to death, okay? They couldn't stop the bleeding, so they stick the rods up my nose when I came out of the coma and stopped the bleeding by God, a miracle of God. The doctors and the medicine and the industry, or, uh, I mean, and the institution of learning medicine, of UCLA Medical Center, General Hospital, is the greatest learning institution in the history of medicine and the greatest hospital in the world to save my life more than once. But that is a great opportunity for me to be say that I love them and them saving my life the way they did. Now, everything about a people's life in this world, are you watching somebody dying or living like a dog in the street? How can you guys just stand by and watch people suffer that way? How would you feel if that was you and nobody gives a fuck about you? What um, unfortunate reason you end up homeless? Like when I was 15 and that executive CEO told me he was only a 15 year old kid living in Hollywood across from Formosa. And you got some fucking vicious ass killer killing the kids of Hollywood and creating snuffleks. And I ended up in a position of watching somebody put a leather hood on man and killing a kid that was alive with a, a, a son that cooked leg parts and amputated shit in Vietnam. And experiencing something like that from sutured mask of a fucking leather mask and Silver Lake. And Spielberg taking me out to there. Remember Spielberg for that? What, I, what happened there? And you invited me to there. You wanted to hear about what that occurred? 
Oh, it was a nine-year-old.